Mateo's life seemed to sparkle with good fortune at every turn. Blessed with a tight-knit family, he celebrated life's milestones with abundant joy and splendor, a luxury not afforded to all. His academic journey unfolded seamlessly, leading him precisely where he had dreamed. From early childhood, friendships graced his path, and as he stepped into the working world, fortune smiled upon him once more, guiding him to a fulfilling career in a reputable company. Yet, amidst these blessings, Matteo found his greatest fortune in his beloved wife, Isabel. From their earliest encounters, Matteo sought to enchant Isabel with tokens of affection, each gesture infused with heartfelt sentiment. Be it a single flower or a heartfelt note, Matteo's expressions of love adorned their journey, resonating deeply with Isabel's heart. Isabel, with her grace and intelligence, captured Matteo's soul from the start. Through the highs and lows of life, they stood together, weathering storms and cherishing victories as one. Their bond blossomed amidst the trials of academia and the demands of their professional lives, their love story a testament to resilience and commitment. As the years wove their tapestry, Matteo's fear lingered beneath the surface, a silent whisper of doubt in the face of his love's radiant beauty and unwavering spirit. Yet, when he finally mustered the courage to propose, Isabel's resounding, yes, illuminated his world with boundless joy and gratitude. Their love, steadfast and true, became a beacon of hope amidst life's uncertainties. Together, they embraced the journey ahead, their hearts intertwined in a symphony of love and devotion. In Isabel's choice, Matteo found solace and validation, a testament to the enduring power of genuine affection amidst life's complexities. As they stood on the threshold of forever, Matteo's heart overflowed with gratitude for the extraordinary gift of Isabel's love. In her embrace, he found his home, his anchor amidst the ebb and flow of life's ever-changing tide. Their love, a treasure beyond measure, illuminated the path ahead, guiding them through life's myriad adventures with unwavering grace and boundless joy. The day began with a delightful dinner at a trendy new restaurant, a place Isabel had been eager to explore. It culminated on the waterfront, beneath the canvas of the night sky ablaze with the vibrant hues of bursting fireworks. Despite Matteo's nerves, the grandeur of the moment enveloped him as he gazed into Isabel's eyes, illuminated by the dazzling spectacle above. In that mesmerizing moment, he found himself swept away by the depth of her gaze, forgetting the rehearsed words and traditional gestures as he poured his heart out, asking her the question that held their future in its balance, marry me. Isabel's response, immediate and resolute, flooded Matteo's soul with an overwhelming surge of joy. Her unwavering acceptance, unmarred by the absence of formalities, spoke volumes of their unbreakable bond. For Isabel, the essence of the moment transcended conventionalities, what mattered most was the culmination of their shared dreams, realized in Matteo's heartfelt proposal. Their union, celebrated amidst the opulence of their family's festivities, marked the beginning of a new chapter filled with promise and anticipation. Initially, Matteo harbored concerns that familial tensions might mar the joyous occasion. However, to his relief, the fervor of their loved one's support eclipsed any lingering discord, uniting them in shared jubilation. Yet, as the euphoria of their honeymoon waned, a subtle disquiet lingered beneath the surface of their marital bliss. While their families refrained from overt pressure regarding children, an unspoken expectation loomed in the air, a longing for the pitter-patter of little feet to grace their halls. However, despite their fervent hopes, months passed without the cherished news of impending parenthood. In the face of this silent disappointment, Matteo remained steadfast in his devotion to Isabel. He spared no effort in seeking medical counsel, ensuring both their physical well-being and emotional resilience amidst the trials of their professional lives. As they navigated the complexities of infertility, Matteo's unwavering support became a beacon of solace, a testament to the depth of his love for his beloved wife. With each romantic gesture and cherished moment shared, Matteo endeavored to infuse Isabel's world with joy and serenity, cultivating an environment where her radiance flourished. Despite the shadows of uncertainty that loomed over their journey, Matteo remained resolute in his commitment to cherish and uplift Isabel, guiding her through life's tumult with unwavering devotion and boundless affection. 
Amidst the camaraderie of friends and the warmth of familial bonds, Mateo's world was cast under a shadow of insidious whispers and covert glances. Colleagues and their spouses, once regarded as allies, became unwitting purveyors of gossip, their speculative murmurs casting doubt upon Mateo's marriage and Isabel's character. Despite his initial resolve to dismiss such slander, the relentless repetition of disparaging remarks gnawed at Mateo's spirit, sowing seeds of uncertainty within his heart. The weight of their scrutiny bore down upon Mateo, chipping away at his confidence and threatening to erode the foundation of his cherished union. Each disparaging comment, laden with insinuation and judgment, served as a silent dagger, piercing the veil of trust that once shielded their love from the world's prying eyes. However, amidst the tumult of whispered accusations, a beacon of light emerged, heralding a moment of unparalleled joy and boundless hope. Isabel, radiant with a newfound glow, rushed to Mateo's side, her smile a testament to the miracle that awaited them. In a crescendo of elation, she shared the news that would dispel the shadows of doubt and uncertainty, she was pregnant. In that transcendent moment, the weight of their shared longing dissolved, replaced by an overwhelming wave of gratitude and wonder. For Matteo, the revelation was nothing short of miraculous, a testament to the resilience of their love and the power of hope in the face of adversity. In the wake of Isabel's revelation, the discordant whispers and clandestine glances faded into obscurity, eclipsed by the radiant promise of new life. As they embarked on this journey of parenthood, Matteo found solace in the realization that their love, fortified by the trials of adversity, would stand as a beacon of resilience against the tide of doubt and speculation. In the embrace of Isabel's joy and the promise of their growing family, Matteo discovered a renewed sense of purpose, a steadfast resolve to nurture their love amidst life's myriad uncertainties. Together, they forged ahead, their hearts intertwined in a tapestry of love, hope, and unyielding devotion, steadfast in their commitment to weather life's storms as one. Once more, Matteo cradled Isabel in his arms, their shared joy blossoming anew with the anticipation of their growing family. With each passing day, he showered her with tokens of affection, reveling in the prospect of welcoming their long-awaited twins into their lives. Together, they transformed a room into a nursery, a sanctuary of dreams adorned with whimsical decorations and vibrant hues, a testament to the boundless love that awaited their children. The news of expecting twins filled Mateo's heart with unbridled ecstasy, a culmination of their shared hopes and dreams manifesting in the form of two precious bundles of joy. For Mateo, the prospect of raising a large family, enriched by the laughter and love of twins, surpassed even his wildest imaginings. As they embarked on this new chapter of their lives, Matteo found solace and fulfillment in the simple pleasures of parenthood, relishing each tender moment spent in the company of his beloved wife and growing children. Together, they navigated the challenges and triumphs of parenthood, their shared commitment to nurturing their family unit serving as a guiding light amidst life's uncertainties. With the arrival of their twins, a boy and a girl, Matteo's heart swelled with boundless pride and gratitude, their home alive with the laughter and coos of their newborns. The nursery, once a sanctuary of anticipation, now overflowed with the warmth of familial love, its walls echoing with the promise of endless possibilities. As Matteo carried Isabel and their newborn twins through the threshold of their home, he was consumed by an overwhelming sense of contentment, his heart brimming with gratitude for the blessings that surrounded him. Despite the disapproval of others, Matteo remained steadfast in his commitment to sharing the joys and responsibilities of parenthood with Isabel, their partnership a testament to the enduring strength of their love. With each passing day, Matteo reveled in the simple joys of family life, finding solace in the laughter of his children and the unwavering love of his devoted wife. In their embrace, he found his truest purpose, his heart overflowing with boundless love and unwavering devotion. Together, they forged ahead, their hearts united in a tapestry of love, laughter, and unbreakable bonds. As the bliss of parenthood settled, Matteo found himself entangled in a web of unsettling rumors. Less than a year had passed since the birth of their twins, yet whispers began to circulate once more, casting shadows of doubt over their once harmonious family life. The children's features, a stark contrast to Matteo's own, fueled the gossip mill. 
With their curly hair and lighter complexion, they bore little resemblance to Mateo or Isabel. Even Isabel's swift return to her pre-pregnancy figure became fodder for speculation, eliciting murmurs of disbelief among Mateo's colleagues. Day by day, Mateo found himself subjected to the hushed whispers that permeated his workplace. Despite attempts to shield him from the gossip, the insidious rumors found their way to Mateo's ears, each word chiseling away at his sense of security. As doubts gnawed at his mind, Mateo couldn't help but scrutinize every detail. The children's appearance, Isabel's behavior, each observation fueled his growing unease. Isabel, once open and transparent, now seemed to harbor secrets, her once carefree demeanor shrouded in mystery. Caught in a whirlwind of uncertainty, Matteo couldn't ignore the subtle shifts in Isabel's behavior. Her newfound secrecy, coupled with cryptic phone calls and guarded conversations, only deepened Matteo's apprehension. The echo of Isabel's words, overheard in fleeting moments, sent shivers down his spine, igniting a gnawing sense of dread within him. Faced with mounting evidence of deception, Matteo grappled with the daunting task of confronting his suspicions. The fragile veneer of trust that once bound them together now threatened to fracture under the weight of uncertainty. Haunted by doubts and plagued by unanswered questions, Matteo stood at a crossroads, torn between confronting the truth and clinging to the facade of a picture-perfect life. The journey ahead, fraught with uncertainty and turmoil, loomed ominously on the horizon, challenging Matteo to confront the unsettling truths lurking beneath the surface. Matteo found himself grappling with lingering doubts, despite Isabel's reassurances. Her explanation seemed plausible, her affection unwavering, yet beneath the surface, a shadow of uncertainty lingered. As Isabel enveloped him in her embrace, Matteo couldn't shake the nagging sense of unease that gnawed at his conscience. Her words, though seemingly genuine, failed to quell the restless turmoil stirring within him. The more Matteo pondered, the more the pieces of the puzzle refused to align. Isabel's newfound vigilance over her phone, her elusive phone conversations, all hinted at a hidden truth lurking just beyond reach. Despite his longing for peace of mind, Matteo couldn't shake the persistent tug of suspicion that tugged at his heartstrings. Each passing moment seemed to deepen the chasm of uncertainty that threatened to engulf their once idyllic existence. Struggling to reconcile his fears with the facade of normalcy that surrounded them, Matteo grappled with the weight of his suspicions. Was it paranoia, born of insecurity, or a gut instinct honed by years of unwavering trust? As Isabel continued to shower him with affection, Matteo found solace in her embrace yet couldn't shake the unsettling undercurrent of doubt that lingered in the recesses of his mind. Haunted by the specter of uncertainty, Matteo treaded cautiously, his heart torn between the desire for truth and the fear of unraveling the delicate threads that bound them together. In the labyrinth of doubt, only time would reveal the answers he sought, casting a shadow of uncertainty over their once harmonious union. Matteo's once unwavering trust in Isabel now wavered in the face of mounting suspicions and rumors. The whispers of infidelity that permeated his workplace cast a shadow of doubt over their once harmonious union. Though Matteo refrained from confronting his colleagues about the rumors, their words echoed incessantly in his mind, fueling his determination to uncover the truth hidden beneath the facade of marital bliss. With each passing day, Matteo grew increasingly distant, his heart weighed down by the uncertainty that gnawed at his soul. Isabel's every action seemed tinged with suspicion, her every word scrutinized for traces of deceit. As rumors swirled, Matteo found himself grappling with the agonizing choice of whether to confront his wife or seek proof of her alleged infidelity. Fearing the repercussions of betrayal yet yearning for clarity, he turned to the anonymity of the internet in search of guidance. In the labyrinth of online forums and advice columns, Matteo found solace in the shared experiences of those who had walked the same treacherous path. Their stories, though fraught with pain, offered him a glimmer of hope, a roadmap to navigate the tumultuous waters of doubt. Armed with newfound knowledge, Matteo embarked on a clandestine mission to test Isabel's loyalty, his heart heavy with the burden of uncertainty. As he sat down to compose the farewell letter, emotions surged through him, memories of their love mingling with the bitter taste of doubt. 
For hours, Matteo wrestled with his inner turmoil, each attempt to capture the essence of his feelings thwarted by the weight of his emotions. Yet, amidst the chaos of his conflicted heart, he found a semblance of clarity, penning words that echoed the depth of his anguish and the sincerity of his intent. With trembling hands, Matteo sealed the letter, his heart heavy with the weight of impending revelation. In the stillness of the night, he placed it where Isabel would find it, his soul torn between the hope for reconciliation and the fear of betrayal. He refrained from mentioning his suspicions but conveyed in the letter that he didn't feel the same as before when he was with her. Matteo confessed that her detachment made him feel the need to be alone with himself and reflect on the situation. He concluded the letter by expressing that he still loved her. Matteo hoped that this letter would, if not make Isabel repent for her transgressions, at least make her think about what she had done. But deep down, he also hoped that he was wrong, he desperately wanted their life to return to normal, although he observed unfamiliar traits in their children. Finally, Matteo chose a day when he took time off from work and placed the prepared letter in the most visible place while Isabel wasn't home, she had gone somewhere with the twins. This gave Matteo enough time to find a suitable hiding spot where she wouldn't find him. He chose a wardrobe as a hiding spot, conveniently positioned to overhear conversations throughout most of the house. Concealed within, he tried not to dwell on what might happen if Isabel suddenly decided to peek inside. When his wife returned, Matteo heard the rustle of paper in a prolonged silence as Isabel read his letter. He began to think the silence was lasting too long, but then came the sound of the letter hitting the floor, followed by a quiet sob. Isabel was crying. Matteo almost smiled, ready to exhale with relief, but then he heard the woman retrieve her phone from her purse and dial a number. Hello, she whispered, her voice trembling. Matteo froze, listening intently, and suddenly realized the woman whispered a man's name. Yes, Diego. Matteo couldn't believe his ears, his beloved wife Isabel was cheating on him. Isabel sobbed but continued speaking very softly, barely audible. Are you coming? Okay, Diego, I'll wait, Isabel said. Matteo clenched his fists, unable to believe such treacherous betrayal. He loved her so much, worshipped her, showered her with gifts, did everything for her, and she betrayed him. Suddenly, Isabel spoke again, this time, it seemed she was talking to someone completely different. Gabriel, everything's so bad, Matteo almost swore aloud. Another man Isabel was cheating on him, not with one but with two men simultaneously. He left me, do you understand, Gabriel? What should I do? For a while, she listened to the man on the other end of the line, then sighed. Okay, Isabel's voice quieted briefly, and she seemed to gradually calm down. But after a couple of minutes, she picked up the phone again. Pablo, it's me, Isabel, she whispered with a breaking voice. Yes. No, it's something else. Mateo didn't know what to think anymore. Three men. How was she managing affairs with three men behind his back? Yes. No, it's not worth it, Isabel's voice seemed to drive another nail into Mateo's heart with each word. Okay, I'll wait. Again, silence fell, and Mateo pondered whether to leave his hiding place now or wait until one of his wife's lovers showed up. Mentally, he was already considering calling his lawyer friend to initiate divorce proceedings. But curiosity got the better of him. If he caught Isabel with a lover, he could capture it on his phone and have evidence of her betrayal. The quiet melody of Isabel's phone ringing made Matteo tense up and listen again. Yes. Isabel wiped away her tears. Raphael. Matteo couldn't help but feel an even greater shock. Another one. This conversation seemed one-sided. Isabel remained silent, only sighing occasionally before hanging up the phone. Not knowing what to think, Matteo forced himself to calm down and be patient, although rage burned inside him. Soon, Matteo heard a car pulling up to the house. A couple of moments later, the front door opened, and Isabel, judging by the sounds, threw herself into the arms of the person who entered, sobbing loudly. The man said something to her, 
but Matteo couldn't hear. He was too far from the door to catch their conversation, but he could vividly imagine everything that could have been said. A couple of minutes later, two more cars pulled up, and Matteo was stunned. Now, Isabel wouldn't be able to wriggle out of it if all her lovers found out about each other. There would be no avoiding scandal. However, no matter how much he strained to listen, he heard no shouting, no fighting, no signs of any disagreements. On the contrary, it seemed to him as if all three men were collectively comforting the sobbing Isabel. What's going on there? Matteo whispered. He didn't delay any longer and emerged from his hiding place, ready to confront his wife and her lovers. However, as soon as he approached them, all his indignation and prepared words got stuck in his throat. Standing before him were three of his friends with whom he had lost touch some time ago because they had moved to other cities. The only stranger was the man embracing his wife. He suddenly realized that two of his friends, Gabriel and Diego, had thick curly hair, and one of them could indeed be the father of the twins. Noticing him, all five looked at Matteo with confusion and anger. Matteo, explain yourself. Raphael, the least angered, stepped forward first. Matteo forced himself to shake off the shock and puffed out his chest, masking his confusion with anger. I'm the one who has to explain. How dare you all? I'm the victim of my wife's infidelity, whom I venerated all these years. What Isabel gasped, shocked by his words. Yes, indeed, don't deny it. You cheated on me, and with whom? With my own friends. That's why the children don't resemble me. Everyone who warned me was right. Maddo ranted, unleashing all the rumors he had heard for years. The people before him were speechless, listening to him with widened eyes until he finally ran out of steam. Isabel, seemingly finding her voice first, said, so, that's how it is. He used to love hearing this tone from her when she suddenly became composed and calm amidst an argument. Previously, he was amazed by her ability to calm herself and rationally think about the problem they faced, to fix everything and move forward again. But this time, he heard that tone in a completely different light. Have you lost your mind, amigo? Gabriel exclaimed, and you haven't. Cheating on your own wife with Isabel and now trying to blame me. Maddo shouted, what are you talking about? Where did you get such nonsense in your head? Raphael snapped, is this your husband, asked the man embracing Isabel. Is this the man you've been boasting about? He's quite average, I must say, sweetheart. I wonder why I bothered bringing beauty to a goddess like you for this, Matteo frowned, noticing the stranger's peculiar mannerisms. Pablo. Isabel's head shook in disbelief as she began to speak, her tone softened yet firm, listen to me, sweetheart. As a stylist who's seen life from various angles, I can tell you this, if your man is set on finding faults in you, he'll find them no matter how brightly you shine. It's like being gold to everyone else, but to him, you'll smell of manure. The man, named Pablo, waved his hand gracefully, adding his perspective, indeed, appearances can deceive. You may appear as gold, but if he believes you to be otherwise, that's all you'll be in his eyes. Maddo's frustration boiled over, who are you, damn it. He exclaimed at Pablo, his indignation clear. My name's Pablo, darling, Pablo replied smoothly, but don't worry, I won't intrude on your territory, even if you pour a bottle of tequila over me. Gabriel met Maddo's gaze, his expression grim, so you lied to Isabel? Maddo's disbelief was evident, I didn't lie. I was testing her. She's cheating on me. Are you blind? Diego shook his head in disbelief, unable to comprehend the situation. Isabel intervened, holding Diego back, that's enough. I understand everything now. It was pointless gathering you for the alumni reunion or trying to surprise Matteo. He had already made up his mind long ago. Well, Matteo, she continued, I'm glad I took the kids to my mother's. They won't have to hear this. And don't you dare use them as an excuse. It's clear they aren't yours, with their curly hair not resembling you in the least. Maddo's agitation peaked, 
so, the kids aren't mine, and you're cheating on me. And you think I refuse to listen. Isabel's once gentle eyes turned stern and confident, directed squarely at Maddo. The woman he once loved was now confronting him head on, what's there to listen to with your empty excuses? Maddo truly didn't want to hear anything, Diego spat at his friend's feet. Isabel raised her head proudly, maybe you'll listen to the truth. Can you explain why the kids don't look like me? And what about your grandfather? Have you forgotten about him? You don't like the curls, do you? Your grandfather had curly hair, and even before my pregnancy, you sighed, saying how nice it would be if the kids had curls like your grandfather. Isabel's eyes shot lightning, and Maddo was bewildered but quickly recalled one of the rumors, the man my colleague saw you with. You were hugging him, darling. That's just how we greet each other, Pablo looked at his nails disdainfully, snorting. We're good friends. I have a husband of my own. Your woman means nothing to me. And what about the conversations? You were talking to someone about a man, Maddo pressed. For a few moments, Isabel pondered, are you talking about last Wednesday? When Anna and I were discussing the new episode of our favorite soap opera. Oh, Alejandro, Pablo sighed exaggeratedly next to Isabel, what a man, such shoulders. Rafael shook his head, covering his face with his palm, Maddo, you're really an idiot. You're looking for a catch where there isn't one. But, Maddo began to gasp with indignation. We were trying to surprise you, Isabel crossed her arms over her chest, I wanted to gather our friends for a reunion, surprise you with the arrival of Rafael, Gabriel, and Diego. Pablo volunteered to help me find a dress and beautify. And you. You're only thinking about how to accuse me of infidelity. Silence fell again, and Isabel shook her head, stepping towards her purse and heading for the exit, Pablo, be a dear. Take me to mom's, Isabel asked her stylist. Of course, darling, Pablo responded, glanced at Maddo with a displeased look, and followed her out. Maddo wanted to follow, but his three friends stopped him. For the next few hours, he heard a lot about himself from his friends. They didn't skimp on evidence, showing him their conversations with Isabel where they discussed the upcoming reunion. Tears of guilt and regret streamed down Mateo's face as he couldn't believe he had single-handedly destroyed his beautiful life with Isabel because of some rumors and speculations he heard from people who knew nothing about his life. For the first two days, Isabel didn't even pick up his calls, but on the third day, Maddo went to her mother's house with a huge bouquet of flowers and knelt at the door. When Isabel opened it, he pleaded, Forgive me, Isabel. UG, Isabel's mother passed behind her, fool, not a man, fool, Maddo agreed with his mother-in-law, a complete fool. Forgive me, Isabel. Isabel sighed heavily, and her angry eyes softened, do you realize you could have lost me because of rumors? Because you believed others instead of the person closest to you? Maddo could no longer speak, only nodding. No matter how many times I tell you, you've listened to your heart, not the words of strangers, Isabel knelt before him and set aside the bouquet, I never wanted to betray you, dear, because you are the most wonderful man, kind, romantic, loving. Just sometimes foolish. He couldn't reply. Isabel kissed him on the lips, and Maddo realized she had forgiven him. Now he just had to make amends to her and forgive himself for being so insecure that he began to doubt the faithfulness of his wife. Dear viewers, if you enjoyed the story, please support the video by liking it and leaving a comment. Thank you very much.